My dear friends, I've come to you once again in this nine day of waiting, the Pentecost Novena. And I'd like us to reflect on the Holy Spirit as fire. The imagery of fire is sometimes scary because we know fire purifies at the same time it burns. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, we are told that the Holy Spirit descended on the apostles in flames of fire or tongues of fire. Just as fire purifies anything, so the Holy Spirit coming like fire is also going to purify us, our weaknesses into strength. The Holy Spirit as fire is going to burn within us all our illnesses and infirmities. That is why the ancient prayer to the Holy Spirit says, Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and enkindle in us the fire of your love. May this fire of the Holy Spirit set us ablaze to go out and witness to the world. May this period of waiting enable us to experience God in a special way. Thou on those who evermore thee confess and thee adore, in thy sevenfold gift, descend. Give them comfort when they die. Give them life when thee on high. Give them joys which never end. Amen. The fruits of the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, perfect the supernatural virtues by enabling us to practice them with greater docility to divine inspiration. As we grow in the knowledge and love of God under the direction of the Holy Spirit, our service becomes more sincere and generous the practice of virtue more perfect. Such acts of virtue leave the heart filled with joy and consolation and are known as fruits of the Holy Spirit. These fruits in turn render the practice of virtue more attractive and become a powerful incentive for still greater efforts in the service of God to serve whom is to reign. Come, O Divine Spirit, fill my heart with thy heavenly gifts. By charity, joy, peace, patience, benignity, goodness, faith, mildness, and temperance, that I may never weary in the service of God, but by continued faithful submission to thy inspiration, may merit to be united eternally with thee in the love of the Father and the Son. Amen. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be my name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed is art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. <coughs> Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it now never shall be a world without 
without end. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In our Pentecost Novena, we pray the act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought, and grant that I may always watch for your light, and listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you, and give myself to you, and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus, and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Amen. In our Pentecost Novena, we pray the prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. And the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God. God, and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen.